In this lesson, we're going to study the resistance of a wire. Let's begin by comparing these two wires. With the same cross-sectional area and connected to the same voltage battery, but the second wire is twice as long. Since V equals to ED, there's the same voltage, but this one is twice as long. That means D is twice as much. That means uh, for the same voltage, the electric field is half as strong. Weaker electric field means the electrons will have slower drift velocity. And it turns out that the free electron's drift velocity is proportional to the strength of the electric field. So half the electric field means uh, half the drift velocity. The two wires have the same cross-sectional area. So there is the same number of free electrons at a cross-section. Same number of electrons flowing at half the speed means the current in this longer wire is half as much. V equals to IR. The two wires, they have the same voltage. The twice as long wire has half the current. That means the twice as long wire has twice the resistance, which means the resistance of a wire must be proportional to the length of the wire. What about the cross-sectional area? How does the cross-sectional area affect the resistance of a wire? Now let's compare these two wires with the same length and connected to the same voltage battery. But the second wire is thinner with half the cross-sectional area. The two wires have the same length. V equals to ED. They have the same voltage. And same length means uh, the D is the same. That means the electric field must also be the same. Same strength electric field means the same drift speed for electrons. But the thinner wire with half the cross-sectional area has half the free electrons at the cross-section. Half the electrons at the same speed means uh, half the current. V equals to IR. The two wires have the same voltage. The thinner wire has half the current. That means uh, it must have twice the resistance. Half the cross-sectional area for twice the resistance. This means uh, the resistance of a wire is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of a wire. If we combine these two conclusions, we have the resistance of a wire being proportional to the length L over its cross-sectional area A. Therefore, we can turn this into an equation R equals to a constant rho times L over A. We call this constant rho the resistivity. What do you think the resistivity depends on? It depends on the material of the wire. So the resistance of a wire depends on its dimensions and the material it is made of. What do you think the unit for resistivity is? If I solve for rho, the resistivity would equal to R times A divided by the length L. So unit-wise, this will be ohms times the cross-sectional area meters squared divided by the length meters. And one of the meters can cancel, so we get ohms times meters. That's the unit for resistivity. For example, the resistivity of copper is 1.68 times 10 to the negative 8th. The resistivity of tungsten is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 8th. The resistivity of tungsten is bigger than that of the copper. So tungsten is not as good a conductor as copper. 